Hey guys, I get this question a lot. What's the real estate market doing? Prices are through the roof. People are buying, people are putting in multiple offers. What's the real estate market going to do? Hi, this is Tim with Tim Stout & Associates, True North Real Estate Advisors. And I'm gonna take a few minutes and answer this question. Uh, the main driver for any real estate market is supply and demand. And especially with the market nationally, not just locally, uh, supply is so low and demand is so high. So as long as that's happening, we're always going to have a, a pretty good market and prices are going to continue to rise. Typically, when this would happen, you know, past, we were able to build ourselves out of it. Builders could come in, builders could start turning properties, building them, and then we could make up for the lack of supply and we, we could diminish the demand and it would level off prices a little bit and it calls for a little more of a neutral market because right now we're in an extreme seller's market. But what's happening between the coronavirus, uh, our borders are being shut down, which a lot of our uh, our stuff, our materials from for building come from Canada. So the border's been shut down, so we're unable to get the uh, get those materials. The factories that produce these materials have been cut in half. You know, half workers, half time for for about a year now. So that's that's diminishing the reply, or supply. And another thing is with uh, the government continuing to pump in um, money into the economy in ways of like unemployment, cost to find someone to work, uh, cost of labor has went through the roof because people can sit at home and make more money uh, sitting at home than they can swinging a hammer. So so we're seeing a lot of that. So that cost has went up. The cost of supplies went up, which which has created such a costly increase for new construction. We're not seeing a lot of building or not enough building to get us out of this. So home prices will continue to rise until the foreseeable future. The only thing uh, that I think could slow this down is when interest rates start to rise, uh, people will not be able to qualify for as much as they are now. And then that will be a... Uh, That'll be a difference because when when interest rates go up, you know, incrementally, that pays effect on what you can pay. And with supply and demand, you know, prices continue to rise and eventually we'll get to a spot to where the price will have to decrease because of interest rates. Or the economy fixes itself as far as the coronavirus and, uh, and all the supply chains. Guys, remember who you work with matters and have a great day.